it's Carlos Yalt from Fitness Training once again and thank you so much for watching the video and today we're doing a video about intermittent fasting so today intermittent fasting so I'm going to dive deep into that particular subject now there is a vast amount of information about intermittent fasting but I'll try to be brief uh, yet educational in order to help us become our greatest version so intermittent fasting what is it okay now a lot of people talk about is intermittent fasting good what is it does it work and blah 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 so I'll try to cover as much as I can so what is it now intermittent fasting is very much so a eating pattern okay it's not a diet okay because it depends what you eat obviously on that particular pattern so very much so I'm sure you guys probably heard the the 16 8 so it's a 16 hour fast where you then eat uh, food in the eight hour sort of into an uh, interval okay now why does it work okay now I don't know if you guys know about this or whether you've done research or you've probably seen on Instagram um, people talking about intermittent fasting and how powerful it is to lose weight now the reason why it works and I'll go a little bit scientific about it is because you once your blood sugars drop your hypothalamic gland which is obviously situated in your brain uh, and basically the pituitary gland which work together in order to basically control your metabolism uh, what they do is they constant basically um, trying to fight uh, it's almost like a thermostat so when you are basically priming yourself from food what happens is your body starts accelerate I know this is how it's probably completely silly but there's a lot of scientists that have been debating about this because years ago we used to say if you stop eating your metabolism shuts down and you slow down your metabolism and you store loads of fat however scientists have researched now that by basically going on to a long period of fasting what it does it accelerates our metabolism and what it actually does it actually increases your growth hormone now this is not something that you should do all the time however it's very actually good for our intestine our hormones our heart our lungs our brains um, now a lot of us fast for a lot of different reasons but this particular intermittent fasting I'm talking about is great because what it does is it keeps um, it keeps your metabolism revved okay it helps you actually store muscle and burn excess body fat now how would I advise for you to do this there is a lot of methods okay but this very simple method is for you to basically um, fast for 16 hours and then eat in those next eight hours and then fast again for 16 hours how long should you do it for now uh, the biggest thing for me uh, and I always say how long is a piece of string it all depends really much so um, how much weight you need to lose uh, whether you want to gain obviously a lean physique uh, whether you do it maybe for health reasons because it's very good sometimes to actually do this to kind of like shut your metabolism because remember uh, a lot of us out there we're kind of consuming so many crap honestly so much crap so much sort of high condimented food um, um, high caloric loads of sugars loads of salts a lot of processed food that is no nutrition to us okay now doing a fasting what it does is it cleanses your intestine it cleanses all that crap uh, that we kind of a lot of the time store so that is really good and at the same time as well it kind of revs your metabolism like crazy so that's really going to be fantastic in order to obviously uh, store fat so not store fat so burn fat and store muscle now when would I exercise now for the guys that are going to do body um, body fat reduction uh, the best way I would say which is I'm doing at the moment uh, is basically uh, do the 68 and, and do your um, power walk or your cross trainer or whatever um, piece of equipment you, you like to use or even power walk obviously uh, you don't need to do it on, on a treadmill you can do it like outside as I do so a lot of the times as you guys probably see me um, I'll do that when I'm basically in a low um, low glycogen state of which is when you are basically fasting okay now you may ask me Carlos so when would you advise me to do the weight training now I would advise you to do the weight training when you basically open your fast uh, after you've eaten maybe an hour and a half two hours because if you're going to do weight training on a fast uh, on a fast fasted uh, what you probably may find you might find yourself very weak uh, and you might not perform as well as you would if obviously when you've got st a good stored amount of um, glycogen levels uh, so obviously you, your muscles are going to need a lot of glycogen in order to propel them the, the weights and sustain that sort of um, calorie deficit you need to obviously have some sort of glycogen in your system in order to perform a better okay so 
that will definitely do uh, aerobic exercise to burn body fat on the uh, on a faster state fasted state what I mean by that is but low glycogen levels and uh, when you uh, eat when you open on that eight hour train weight training that will be the best way to do it now some people may say Carlos how much weight would I lose if I do fasted fasted cardio how much would I lose if I do intermittent fasting now Whew, it's a hell of a question because I'll give you an example. I've heard people doing um, uh, intermittent fasting, so they fast for 16 hours, and as an example, and they come to eight hours, they eat like a pig. Okay, so you ain't gonna get that much results, uh, you know, because uh, what you're doing is you're starving yourself, but then you're eating like a pig. And to be honest, if you're gonna eat like a pig, you're gonna put weight on anyway. So intermittent fasting is not gonna be successful with you. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to be obviously doing intermittent fasting, and then when you open your fast, obviously open your fast with good foods, um, rich. Uh, foods which is obviously greens, uh, a lot of organic food, you know, sweet potato, uh, brown rice, uh, broccoli, asparagus, uh, good organic meat, um, fish as well, and that's going to give you a lot of fuel food. You know, and there's not going to be obviously a lot of people who what they'll do, they'll starve themselves. Um, they'll do the, the fasting and then they'll open their fast with you know cakes and, 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 and loads of sugar foods crisps and sandwiches and, and, and chocolate bars you know that, that's not gonna work you know it may work for someone out there that might be an ectomorph uh, like someone that is natural slim anywhere that wants to lose excess body fat from the tummy area that may work for some people I'm not saying you won't uh, however to be honest the rule of thumb is if you're gonna do that you ain't gonna get a great physique and that's just from experience i tell you I, there's always one or two that'll say oh by the way i can do it but that depends on your body type and most most people would struggle if they have a poor diet doing and, and intermittent fasting now one of the biggest things i advise you to do as well is and you may ask this is another question can i eat in between the um the 16 hour fasting no you can't eat however you can have um you can have water obviously you can hydrate yourself and not that i'm a, a a lover of coffee but some of you guys are so you can have coffee as well black coffee and green tea that you can have that in order to keep you going throughout the day or, or whatever the night depending on whether you work nights or work days uh you'll see that you'll flip itself if you work at nights obviously it's on the opposite side obviously because you're going to be sleeping in the daytime you're going to work in the nighttime so obviously it does work for a lot of a lot of different sort of schedules but remember intermittent fasting uh, the question does it work yes it does okay uh, is it good for you yes it is however i wouldn't advise you to do for the rest of your life okay i would advise you probably to do for about 12 weeks 14 weeks cleanse your intestine and then maybe go back into a more like um you know normal calorie uh, diets throughout the day and then maybe do do that for 10 12 weeks and then maybe go to intermittent fasting again uh, my other question that pop up a lot of the times is can i still take my supplements as normal yes you can you can take your supplements normal uh, can i still train the same way yes you can however remember what i said obviously you once your glycogen levels are low you ain't gonna be having lots of energy so um so that's another thing you got to remember um does he burn body fat like hell yes it does does he actually promote growth hormone yes it does do your own research there's a lot of research out there that backs this up uh, is he healthy it is not for a long period of time obviously don't do it for a long period of time and do you get results absolutely so uh, the biggest thing is try it okay put into practice but remember you need to be relentless every single day it's not just one of them like you do for two or three days oh my god it's not working okay now you may ask others what do you do yourself uh, i tell you what i do at the moment i'm doing intermittent fasting what I tend to tend to do, I'll do the intermittent fasting and I eat for that amount of eight hours. And then what I do is uh, I, I basically drink in, in, in the times that I'm doing intermittent fasting. That's really, really, really powerful. Uh, but then I have three days off, which is Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which I eat normal. Well, obviously still watching what I eat, obviously. But I, I allow myself one cheating meal a, a week. And I tell you what, uh, it's, it works wonders for me because what it does is actually, um, it shocks my metabolism. It really works wonders for me. So I kind of like uh, four days on, three days off, if that makes any sense. Um, and that really works wonders. Try it out, it may, it may work for you too. Uh, but here we are, another video guys today about intermittent fasting. Um, I'm really, really thankful for all the guys that keep sending, obviously, um, the requests for the videos. I keep making the videos, as you guys know, I'll do one or two videos a day. Um, because I'm here and I'm passionate about helping people become their greatest versions. So with all that said guys, check us out on Carlos Trainer Tan on Instagram. Okay, also on YouTube channel which is Carlos Trainer. 
uh, we've got nearly a thousand videos uh, on area of physical development to do training, diet, supplementation, some silly ones as well. Also, we have to have a laugh as well. We've got to chill out sometimes. You've got to be sometimes you've got to be formal. Sometimes you have to have a laugh. Sometimes we have to have fun as well. And there we are, guys. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It's completely free, guys. All you got to do, go to my channel, Carlos Trainer, and and basically click subscribe. You will get basically uh, notifications stating when I basically upload a new video, and the videos are full of information, guys. And obviously, they're only there to help you become your greatest version. So, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching the video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit. Have a great day. Take care. Believe in yourself. That's all it is. Believe in yourself and do not allow external events to dictate your present situation. Get up, get healthier, get happier, become your greatest version. Remember, while you become your greatest versions, don't forget, have fun as well. Because a lot of times you can be very serious as well. So have fun like I always do, although doing these videos, and it gets really serious sometimes about coaching, training, psychology, problems, everything. Uh, it's always sometimes to become a kid as well and just enjoy and laugh, laugh, laugh.